right, Velvet. I think it's time you let us in on your plan for how we escape if and when the volcano erupts. There is no plan. Oh, what? Then even if we awaken the Elemental Empyreans, we're still toast! I'm not going to die. Well, I'm super happy for you, but what about the rest of us? I'm sure you'll all make it. Don't you think you're being a bit blithe? I doubt there'll be an eruption at all. We'll only be using the volcano's life spring to push souls into the Earth Pulse. I don't think that should have much of an impact on the volcano's activity itself. Well, if you say so. That's a load off. Aye. But the ancients also say that when the four Empyreans awaken, there's a great shift in the Earth. If they're angry about being roused from their slumber, I don't think a volcanic eruption is something we can rule out. See? What did I tell you? Really? I'm sure we'll be fine. If the volcano erupts, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Velvet. <laughs> you look sure of yourself, but I'm still nervous. It may be best to write up a will. Aizen, do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, but I'm using them. <sighs> That's enough. You already know how this will turn out, right? Oh, so you figured that out. It wasn't hard. Besides... It's not like you have anyone to give a will to. Oof, way to cut to the quick. Get any pity or compassion 
from me.
cold. Getting... You'll be rushed on my blade. If you fall asleep, we're leaving you.
on my blade. Yeah.
You'll be facing- Yeah. I know this is a weird time to bring this up, Lafayette, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. All right. Ask away. I knew you'd say that. So, uh, how was your bath and Mercio? Huh? You, uh, you went in with Velvet, right? Just between us guys. What was it like? Well, what are you getting at, Rogoro? Let me in on this, too. It'll be our secret. Not you too, Aizen! There's nothing to be ashamed of. There are just certain times in life when you need to find your resolve and seize the opportunity. We just want to know what your resolve got you. Right. It's like a test. Stop it! I didn't go into the bath with her! Now well, that's a shame. That might have been your one shot. Once you're all grown up, you won't be able to get away with it. That's why I didn't do it. I'm tired of Velvet treating me like a little kid. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> you passed the test. Right. You don't need me to watch over you anymore. Why did you laugh like that? We're just happy that you're growing up. I don't understand you two. If you're just gonna pick on me, go away. <laughs> We're sorry, but I really needed that. Laughter's good for the soul. Rokuro... Were you feeling tense? You wouldn't think it, huh? But now I can fight like I always do. I owe you, Lafayette. Yeah, don't worry about it. Looks like the next test is yours. Yeah. Lafayette, Aizen, watch me prove myself. Rokuro. How do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginative type. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. Always ready to fight! Well then, let's move on. We don't need to worry about an ambush. I won't run away! She could have waited for us.
They were nothing. On to They were nothing. Wow, really? He's really just waiting for us here? Rokuro? It's okay. Incredible! The old bastard forged himself into a sword! Indeed. That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell. Ah oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! <laughs> Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's for my training. At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. <laughs> Can a human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Bokoro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair! You won't use me unless you use everything you've got! I know. All too well. Alright! 
Let's have some fun. You got it. Round 1013, begin. Seriously, you're still counting only because they were all lost. But that ends today. No mercy! Wounds that will be punished! Something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. He's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigurai Rangetsu, after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. This is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take Storm Howl. One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Eh? 
Shigure. You were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Oh. Idiot. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius's stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. If you want to leave now, Rokuro, I won't stop you. Don't forget, my purpose here is to repay my debt to you. <sighs> What's the matter? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> okay? Is that all you have to say? What's wrong? You really are crying. You and Shigure. <laughs> Your brother is... but... Oh, that. It's really nothing to shed tears over. <laughs> How can you pretend it's not important? Don't tell me it's because you're a demon! You went and answered your own question. <laughs> so you will say it's because you're a demon? <laughs> no, that's not the answer, actually. It's not because I'm a demon. It's because we're swordsmen that I'm not sad. Huh? When we fought... When we both really fought, I got this sharp, vivid feeling that pierced straight to my core. When we were both throwing ourselves wholly into the battle, we wanted to keep on fighting forever, like an unquenchable thirst. That's a feeling we only got from each other. Lord Shigure did seem to be enjoying himself. I feel like I can understand it a little better now. <laughs> but I'll never comprehend it. That's for the better. If you did, you'd end up like us. <laughs> Probably so. I wonder when I'll be able to have a match like that again. You won't have to worry about that. Hmm? Just as you work so hard to defeat Lord Shigure, another swordsman will do the same to defeat you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Your positivity reminds me of him. Now I'm suddenly craving a cup of Yozakura Anmitsu. Yozakura Anmitsu? Cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste, black sesame ice cream and fruit. It was Shigure's favorite. Hmm. That's kind of hard to picture, but I'd like to try it. Let's settle then. When this is all over, I'll take you out for some. I look forward to that. Then make sure you come back alive, all right? You too, Rokuro. Yozakura Anmitsu. I won't forget. Rokuro. To Shigure? Yeah. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but... I don't mind. It was just something that happened long ago. The story about Shigure plotting to overthrow our lord. That was a lie. A lie that I spread. But why... I wanted a just cause to strike him down. Storm Howl, Shigure's name, the leadership of the clan. I used to want all of that for myself. Do you regret it? Not at all. Besides, Shigure figured it out a long time ago. But really, I don't know what made me think I had the strength to defeat him back then. He was... truly strong. Of course he was. He was the head of the Rangetsu family. 
the strongest warriors in all the land. Rokuro, does this make you head of the clan now? No. I'm a demon. And more importantly, all I ever wanted was to beat my brother. That's enough for me. You should get out of here while you still have the chance. If things get hairy, I'll run. But please, let me stay here a little longer. I owe Shigure for giving me back my free will. And he always did hate to be alone. I never knew that. You didn't? Weren't you his brother? We never had time to think about anything other than our training. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any insult. He lived and he died according to his own beliefs. That has to be good enough. Humans like that are not so bad. I suppose we aren't. You're a funny sort of Moloch, aren't you? Thanks for the compliment. making a fuss. Anyone who can keep their cool inside a volcano needs their head examined. I can feel the power of the Earth Pulse flowing upward. This is the life spring. That's odd. Melchior isn't here. Have you devoured even Shigure, Lord of Calamity? But remember... The only exorcists whose souls are worthy of sacrifice are Shigure, Oscar, Teresa, and me! He's above us, at the volcano's peak. With three souls, you can only awaken three Empyreans! That won't be enough to seal Inominant's power! If you are missing even one, awakening them will cause this volcano to explode, with you inside it! If you seek to awaken all four elemental Empyreans, then come! Try and take my soul from me! What do you think, Magilu? Trap. Melchior's greatest strength lies in his power over ice. I only wish we could lure him down here. But we dare not forget. He's an exorcist who spent years plotting to awaken a Nominat. Exactly. He could be capable of anything. It'd be dangerous to assume otherwise. Maybe this is the wrong time, but Magilu, you're related to Melchior, right? You better believe it's the wrong time. Long ago, I was Magilanika Lu Maven, Melchior's foster daughter, and before I was cast out, his disciple. Magilanika? The, the lost legate? Huh. So even after ten years, my name still lives on. I'm impressed. You must have commanded a lot of respect. Not in the least. The relationship between Melchior and I was like that between Velvet and Artorias. The debts owed, and the grudges held. Velvet, you don't have to believe me. You may never believe me. But I tell you now, I want to settle my- I don't much care about the affairs of a witch, now do I? I'm going to the peak to find him. Just doing what I want, like always. Yep, that's right. And I'm going with you. Like always.
piece of cake, it's a cinch, piece of cinch. It's scorching, it's freezing, it's scorching. What are you muttering about? You told me to chill out when I complained about the heat. Is that still bothering you? I heat up quickly and cool down slowly. I'm not bothering anyone, so go on, get lost! That's even more annoying. I mean, come on, if it's both hot and cold, it's not scorzing. It's freezing, clearly. That doesn't sound like me at all. Wait, that's not even my point! My skin feels like a frozen shell, but somehow my insides are boiling! This is miserable! <laughs> it should be one or the other. I can't stand this fence-sitting! Oh? Well, so what about the pineapple and sweet and sour pork? Gross! A sweet omelet? The crime against nature. Chocolate-covered raisins? Whoever thought up dried grapes should be hanged! Well, then what about peach pie? I don't see what you're getting at! What about yourself? Utterly vile. Doesn't that make you a fence-sitter? That's why I'm having you eat that old man and shove him into the life spring. I hope you learn to like yourself. Try to embarrass me. I won't run away! Oh, it's right 
Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. Don't get We just- Are you alright, Velvet? I'll eat Melchior, and our collection will be complete. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about you. You collapsed after the thing with Teresa and Oscar, remember? Ugh. <sighs> you wonder if I'm fine after eating Shigure. It's not a problem. But wasn't Shigure a lot more powerful than they were? But look at me. I'm fine, right? Does it seem like I'm faking it? No. I think I'm just used to it. Both my body and mind. You're not just used to it. You've changed. Mm -hmm. Just as I changed after finding my free will, you've gotten stronger through our travels, too. You faced down many sorrows and hardships and overcame them all. Did I, though? You did. And that's why I... Ah. I'll make you a quiche later. Could you make pudding, too? Sure. But are you just trying to butter me up so I'll cook for you? Well, I mean... Uh, yeah. How did you know? You really have grown a lot, haven't you? All right. Let's go and find me some Melchior to eat. Yeah!
close one, but I am the victor. If I'm in this, I'm in this 100%. Get up a cup. Dark 
I'm not sure what Melchior is really capable of. What kind of man is he? To put it short, he's the Exorcist's shadow. Their shadow? They're supposed to be free of malevolence, but they're only human. And so, but sincerity and conviction alone won't save the world. To remain free of malevolence, they need someone to do their dirty work. A shadow. I see. And that's Melchior's job. During all my time at the Abbey, I was never aware of what he was really doing. So, why hasn't he succumbed to malevolence? Because his belief in the exorcists as the saviors of the world is pure and unyielding. It is a mountain of ice that will neither boil, nor melt, nor break. I know the depths of his frozen heart all too well. Uh, wait! Does that mean you...? Yes. Melchior was raising me to be the shadow for the next leader of the exorcists. Artorius himself. But that was a terrible mistake. I was unable to live up to his expectations. So if things had gone as he planned, we'd be fighting you instead of Melchior. 
I'm glad that didn't have to happen. True. If Mogulu was running the Abbey... They would be completely unpredictable. That would be fearsome. Maybe. But doesn't that sound like a whole lot of fun? So Melchior was my shadow too. Oh, feeling too sympathetic to fight him. I wouldn't say that. There's nothing to be sad about. Removing shadows is part of a shadow's job. Even if I'm a failed shadow, I'm still a witch and I cast a deeper darkness. I can see the peak just ahead. If Melchior's anywhere, he's there. Be careful. That crafty old buzzard is nothing like Shigure. He won't fight us head on. <laughs> Is victory for us really possible? We're facing the Legate, Lord Melchior. I'd give us around four to one against. Four to one? Are our chances that slim? Almost every trick I or any current exorcist knows can be traced back to him. If I throw out three arts at once, he'll pull six out of his hat. He knows our capabilities and he's got far more power. Four to one might be generous. I suppose you're right. However, we have Velvet, the boy, and Rokuro. Who knows what value they'll add when they run amok? It's impossible to calculate, but if luck goes our way, our chances will rise considerably. Right. We are challenging the hardest possible foe. But I'm only talking about a straight-up fight, knowing Melky or he'll have some nasty tricks. No matter how you analyze it, the outlook is grim. Aizen, you too? What's wrong with a level-headed look at things? Careful consideration could give us the tool we need to turn the odds in our favor. After all, Magilu, forewarned is forearmed, right? Yes, that's true. Even still, we won't find a weakness in him. Let's take another hard look. What we need might be lying right at our feet. At our feet, eh? I'll keep my eyes on the ground as we walk, then. <laughs> Good luck, Al. Show him how I...
was angry at it. Hold on. You can read a guardian's heart? Um, yeah. Dish up, spank! If you want to live, get out of my way. I'll finish this quick.
popped out. Yep, it's a whimsical wonderland over here. Four elemental Empyreans are the beings that maintain the balance and harmony between Earth, water, wind, and fire. Have you even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Not really. I don't much care. They sleep because of arrogant, insolent wretches like you. The Empyreans derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Empyreans drifted into slumber. Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malachim. Are you trying to say Inominat blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Imperium, Inominat's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Imperians can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes, civilization will crumble. 
The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. Thus, the Abbey will control Illuminat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era. It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Illuminat. And, in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot exist without darkness, no great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! You. He's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. Shut up! No! Rebellious fools, you've fallen so far, Magellanica. I'm Magellanica no longer! I am the evil witch, Maggie Lou! <laughs> <laughs> Ready to die? Think you can die? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Shatter the spirit! How can you act? Shatter the spirit! Good! Come on!
hundred? He's used an oath to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it won't be enough time to finish my art. Are you trying to set off the volcano? You'll die too! As long as I take the law of calamity with me, I have no regrets. That's because I'm for a reason! Ideal soul. Hey, Master. Emotions are a real pain, aren't they? What was that? The elemental Empyreans have awoken. We are free. We will no longer be your tools. Oh dear, what's happening? You saved us, Mogulu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs. Nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. I take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. 
That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. That's all there was to it. I suppose even a legate could never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Have the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Elor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah! Scout ship. The mountain doesn't appear to be erupting. Or doing anything else, really. I'd say that's a relief. Were Melchior's claims only a bluff? I'm not convinced. Most of his threats had as much truth in them as he could muster. With the four Empyreans revived, the land is awakened. Changes in the Earth that once took eons will now happen in a few hundred years. A few hundred years? The mountain will erupt, but not for a long while. A long while to a human, maybe. But compared to the history of the land, it'll be a blink of an eye. But he know me not as the Empyrean of Suppression. Who can say what will happen when we kill him? <gasps> well, it's not like I care anyway. I think we should care. Melchior sure was strong, wasn't he? Yeah. If it weren't for Mogilu's help, we wouldn't have stood a chance. But you saw the opening she gave us and took it. Did you want to be the one to finish him off? If it mattered to me, I'd have fought him alone. We all had our reasons to fight him. The opportunity just happened to be yours. That's all there is to it. I understand. If Melchior had only manipulated Ifrid for personal reasons, then that would be settled now. But he was acting based on his idea of reason. That creating a world without malevolence was worth the cost of destroying people's free will. I freed won't be avenged until I destroy that very philosophy. Your business with the Abbey isn't done. Not even close. You all could just sit around twiddling your thumbs, and I'd still take the heads of Artorius and Inominat on my own. If you want to be the ones to finish them off, You'll have to beat me to it. <laughs> You're on. I'll fight with everything I've got. That's all I can do. That's plenty.
mean to pry, but I've gotta know. Does it feel good to pinch all those souls out from your stomach? That's kind of a gross way of putting it. I have to agree with Velvet. The way you put it sounds so... inappropriate. I'm pretty sure that was her point. Oh, I'm sorry. Why so cranky? I was only asking to see if you were getting hungry or not. Then ask that in the first place. Are you? Hungry, that is. I do feel hungry, now that you mention it. But I don't think it has to do with losing those souls. Then why is it? Maybe my appetite is increasing as Inomi-not suppression weakens. Yeah, suddenly feeling hungry myself. My stomach could start growling at any moment. I have been thinking of nothing but delicious things to eat for a while now. I bet Magilu only brought it up because she's feeling peckish herself. No, no! That's not the reason at all! That settles it then. When we get back to the ship, ship you can take guard duty while we eat. I'll make a kitchen pudding. I'll cook up some pinguin and tomato stew. Ooh, I'd love to try your cooking, Madam Eleanor! Let's get back to the ship! <laughs> Getting all fired up about food, I would never ever... I would kill for a big bowl of sweet Kalean style borscht! Then go find me some peaches. Why peaches? Because you can't have Kalean borscht without peach pie for dessert. You made it back, back in one month. piece, Velvet. I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We can certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Hermes, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Hermes as a class 4 administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercia? Everyone got out safe and sound. Although they did petition, of course. I say we make this town our new hideout. When else are we ever gonna find a hideout that comes from Hot Spring? That's a good idea. We should be dial. Could you? <laughs> well, that's surprisingly reliable. That hurts. Now get going already. Ben Wick and the crew. Cr hey, Rokuro. How'd the showdown with your brother turn out? I killed him. But I couldn't break Storm Howl. Is that because Storm Howl was an even stronger sword than Kuragane's? No. Even with Shigure's full strength behind it, it Storm Howl didn't even leave a nick in Kurogane's blade. If I didn't have this sword, I'd be dead now. I think I just couldn't break Storm Howl because I'm still too inexperienced. But you won the match, didn't you? Yeah, but only by combining my techniques with Kurogane's craftsmanship. If that's the case, then as long as you're wielding it, that sword is Storm Quell. After all, Kurogane's sword did quell the God Blade's raging storm. Do you think Kurogane would agree? Are you kidding? You know how stubborn that guy is. He just says he forged something even stronger the next time. And that's why I say you shouldn't be satisfied with how you are either, Rokuro. I know. I'll find even stronger opponents to cut down. By my hand, Kurogane's storm well will become even more legendary than Storm Howl ever was. That's a spirit! Show what we demons can do!